This spot is the Cat's Meow. Today we look at the original 1996 Beast Wars Cheetor. Before the reissues and the new movie, this was the original Turbo Revan Young Punk of the Beast era. I know we've looked at this mold before, but I figured y'all would like to take a look at this one. Deco-wise, this guy is amazing, though far from show accurate. I should mention that this is the green-eyed third version of this release, though. Earlier versions had blue and then red eyes on the Beast Mode head, as well as some other changes. Like most Beast Wars toys, he's fairly articulated, thanks to an abundance of ball joints. He even has a waist swivel that you gotta move the skirt armor to work. For accessories, he comes with two weapons, a gut gun and this tail blaster. Sadly, that's the only one we have right now. I'm sure the other one is somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh, let's not forget this really cool mutant head feature. Many early Beast Wars toys had this, and it was one of my favorite gimmicks. Kinda wish we saw this more often. Transformation is fairly simple, but still provides a fun and engaging experience. The way the arms close up to form the beast mode back is just mwah, chef's kiss. Everything else just folds and rotates into place. The end result is an organic cheetah mode. Granted, he's a bit stocky for a cheetah, and the robot legs are kind of visible, but it's still pretty darn good, especially for the time frame. The missing gun would go on the underside, though thankfully it doesn't look too bad even without it. Articulation-wise, he's somewhat limited, but you can do a little bit with what he does have. Overall, the original Cheetor is a really fun toy, even with the 90s level of articulation and show inaccurate paint scheme. If you can check it out, I think you'll find that he's spot on smooth. <laughs>